Bomb faked, I believe. Yeah, they're getting it down now, expecting stack nades, and this flank has gotten in position in time. The USPs up the ramp are going to be great. Yes. Just need to deal with Nafani. As soon as Nafani falls, Shiro's going to have a lot on his plate. Oh, that smoke is faking. They're playing retake. Here they come. Three spotted. Hunter on his way. Axile deals with one of the front of the pack. It's Shiro with his first blood drawn. Looking good for Gambit. Amanek changes things. He's a very sharp tool in the G2 shed. Might need to defuse. The kit's too far away. Yes, the oh. shot from Amanek has come through wildly. And now a one-on-one. -on -one. Nexa has a chance. He has a chance There's that no he time. seizes. There's no time. Wait, is there? No. But well, why would he be there? Oh. Huh? Yeah. No, no. Okay. No. Oh. I guess he realized he wasn't going to get anywhere further enough away. I think he could have probably made it away to save a USP. He didn't have armor, so no stress. He might be able to segregate them a little. Hobbit's taking a lot of space, but the MP9 mid-range. Oh, and two from Nexa. Above the Call of Duty, Shiro's getting chipped away at. However, body's now dropped. G2 in a 3v3. Smoke will buy some space. Flank coming in. Two from Jens. Nico doesn't check. Can Nafani collect? Looks like a Gambit second. Threatening on that scout. Hunter connecting, taking Shiro down and out. See if we can get some of that aim out of Jackson Hunter there. Health implies they're up against the odds. An elevated position from Nafani. Brave to adopt such an angle. But the element of surprise enough to convert. Yeah, he's going to let that bomb tick away. See if he can catch one on the next jiggle. Ooh, Jaxie boy. Keeping them there. But Gambit make it too. And don't lose that AK in the process either. There's only one molly for this position as well. So that actually doesn't hurt Amanek here. And they're... Oh, oh, he's going to get caught out here. Problems. Big miss. Amanek falls, and now they've, they can go wherever, wherever they desire. It seems like Nexa is at least going to be able to get an early warning if he could just take a couple with him. Oh, might be spotted here. Yeah, that's the bomb spotted as well. Nafani swings in. Nexa cannot get the cross there in the right spot. Smoke might at least keep him at bay, but straight over the top of it is Nafani for info. Peeking off the flash. Oh, Nafani. Still finds an angle over that smoke. just as he drops off as well. So every, that's twice now. Nafani's only times he's got frags has been a double triple. Real hijinks now. I need Chad to help screw my head on tight because Shiro's pushing for ramp control. The bomb's loose now on A. Shiro's just taking some space back. Nafani's flanking onto Amanek. It's all backwards. They have time to do whatever they want now. The bomb's been picked up. And can go all the way back to B where Inters are still locking down this rotation. So... Hunter is low HP. He's going to be the first responder. Shiro needs to get that. And now Inters collects. Oh, dear. The smoke to deny even more time. The bomb should go down on B here. No dramas. It's just Nico now. Same fate for Nico if he starts his crawl. Shiro gets across. If he's not close right, process of elimination dictates he might be close left. Amanek. In. Oh, Shiro brings the fight to Nico. Isn't he? He's the very best at the moment for deaths per round or least deaths per round. Yeah, he's good at uh, staying alive, old Shiro. <laughs> Amanek. Oh, he's going to hold on the orb. Yes, he will. Okay. Maybe. One. Tip of Inter's head. Oh, and his backpack visible. But Nico's Deagle is actually continuing to channel them into that AWP. A couple of chances have gone awry. It's okay. still Deagle working for G2. Nexa now contributing. Nico's popping off. G2 given a chance now. They have a smoke. They've lost Nico. Shiro's got two targets, two different sides of the map. He's isolating. Nexa will finish the job. And G2 finally break their silence. And Nico's Deagle is a big reason as to why. Oh, those shots. It's nothing special right there out of Nico. And that's Hunter's dead already as well. Axile's just marauding into oh, the side. I didn't check Nexa. Nexa's got a good chance for two. They didn't know where he died from. Axile could not give a call. It's fading. And Nexa's committing. The wild spray from Nafani regains control of the stairs. Or at least he assumed Nico fills the gap in time. He's staring into the default line. Posted up. Comfortable. Hobbit to walk and clear. And Nico does profit. Shiro is next victim. Takes them both. Okay, so G2 off the back of a Nico double and then a triple. That could be the difference maker for G2 here. 
Fast towards A will be the force back. Okay. Yeah, he's cancelled that. Realised he could have very well given up an orb. And look at this smoke. They're not clearing it. They are. Hobbit bodyguards his teammate to perfection. And now Gambit, they're turning up the speed. Amanek's getting overrun. Nico tries to bail him out. It costs him his life. He's exposed to Axile. Finally, he's kept honest. Space taken elsewhere. Intis has just ran through middle. Oh, he's got the full rotation. Everybody's yep. over towards A. Yep. The spoiler. This will be silent. And their after plant positions are perfect. Yeah, Nafani's here to ruin everyone's day. Oh, and a one click headshot as well. That, that kind of range flashing for the hunt onto Hunter. Like, Hunter had two great kills on the side to slow that down. It forced them elsewhere, but Inter's. He's flashing for their fight. Here we go. Amalek trying to react, loses vision. Jax looks away the wrong way. And now G2 are losing their sight. This was a four versus three, but Gambit are making it so threatening. Smoke fades. Axile looks for reload. Will find it. Don't want to put your head in that vice. Axile's all too familiar with those jewels. Elevated position for Inters. Strikes onto Nico. Running out of opportunities. Oh. Hunter gives them a way in. It's Amanek to try and shift the tide of battle. Oh, a missed shot over the shoulder. Inters to wrap it up. And it's another Inters round. Of course, Shiro's watching this. They're going to... They're, Shiro's not going to move. Hunter's just going to... Oh, okay, maybe you will move. Yeah, Bogdan's Law. Throw the orb over to Axile and he's still rewarded. Oh, that's got to be an indicator that, as to where they're going, right? I mean, Hunter knows they can't leave. Especially with the double nade as well. So Nexus on the site, ready and raring to go, but he needs to slow them down. Has a molly to do so. Oh, oh they've just he's still by watching! One straight in. I want to punch... They're going to be! I, I want to punch my monitor. I'm not even playing. I just want to... Oh, no. He's holding it still. They're going to be with 20 seconds left. Nexa would have to... If he's had that molly that he just threw, <laughs> yeah. then yeah, maybe. They missed theirs. He's here. Yeah, they missed theirs. Maybe. Ooh. I hate the maybe. It's not even a real maybe at this <laughs> no, point. No, this one's done. Five bullets. Yeah. Y you can just see the writing's on the wall. As soon as they pivot that late, like after, <laughs> after getting both kills on... Come on, guys. So if he can do it again right now, maybe that could be G2 good for a third, but things aren't looking great. And watch how good this util is. Yep, you either go backwards. Oh, you want to go another forwards? Molly, Left, and right, you, uh, you might oh. need to jump off here, um, Nexa. Yeah. He could he have no options. Nothing. Just die. That was the only option presented to him. And it looks like Hobbit's been handed something similar. Exile, team damage. Oh dear, the Eagles are connecting. This is now a 2v2. And don't forget, Nico has an M4. He can really rumble these last two. Smoke fading now. Inter starting to punch that bomb code in. And he has taken the headshot. Knows the potential trade. I think he spotted him over the box. He didn't. And Axile will claim another round for Gambit. It's getting dire now. 11. And how, what's stopping G2 from kind of rotating some players off A? Just the uncertainty? Well, they just cleared it now. So this info is great, but I don't know if there's going to be enough time. They're going to hear that rotation. Shiro will hear everything above him from Elevator Room and even gets the kill onto Hunter. Oh, bother. Nexa to be tested. They, don't, they may not even commit to this. They've got full mid control, don't forget. So they might just kill the rotate and go A. Here's Albert. Oh, there's the rotate. <laughs> oh, fortunately, Nico gets himself out of trouble. It's Nexa with a big delivery. Make it three. Go on. Can't finish the job. And now the round falls once again in favor of Gambit. Bomb to be planted. Time to get it down. Look Even at a all smoke. The nades. He can get anything he wants out of that. It's so hard to clear this close corner. Inters is right in the blind spot. Jax tries to get a reaction. He can assume where they're coming from. Oh, great free fire. Here we go. For three, for some pride. Shiro wants to take it away. He's already tagged him up nicely. One more bullet secures the fate. It's 13. Unlucky for some, certainly not Gambit. This is a G2 pistol now. I said there should be uh, really no way back in. Well, this is a great start. Almost being gifted the pistol for free. Yeah, they were really stubborn about that rotate. There should be no way back in. The bomb's halfway ticked. Just hold on to the armor. I, I know that sounds almost insane, but they may as well just hold on to the Kevlar here. Yeah, 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 certainly. Especially when that second round is so important for G2. Oh, Jiro has stuck around and now he will be hunted down. Oh, he'll take a couple of bonus frags. Amanek, so lucky to be alive. He was underneath the bomb. He goes down to four, but he'll keep hold of what little he had.
Looking hungry for some frags. Smoke's ah. being lined up. We've seen this, the G2 smoke. It's just a little extra special now. And they're ahead of it. Doesn't really cover off the cross. Oh, big gap for the Hobbit Deeg to thrive. And now it's Axar to throw a finishing blow, a finishing touch. The CZ connects, the bomb delivered. And G2 starting to crumble in just the second round of play. Good find from Nico. Next, a long range on the MAC-10, saving them both. It's just Nafni towards A, so they're really trying to funnel them towards this mid and B area, and that's where G2 have been finding avenues mid to late round, but this time they're just heading straight over towards the B lobby. Oh, look at that. That's a great camera to embody just how locked in this B site should be. They will react to the utility and be there at least a little bit. Oh, Hobbit. His first contact, and it's a drive-by on next, and now Inters is chipping in. G2, oh, getting whittled away out. Oh, dear. Everyone's dead. Five to find, Hunter. Impossible task, too many angles. It's Inters with three, locking it down. Weapons to be hoovered up as best they can. Oh, Vision, Stitz. Holding the line, Shiro does lose his life. Nafani had a choice. Sandbags or back to site. He opts for site. And this is powerful. He can basically hold both sides of it. With Hobbit getting a frag, if Hunter didn't take that head off, we were talking. But now, two-man advantage. GT not going to try and throw this away. They are light on smokes. Flashes will have to suffice. It does seem to have served its purpose. The bomb's now down and looks like G2 will recover. Taking a little bit of a look there. Nafani can buy, Axar can buy. Shiro, plenty of cash. So another gun round. And Gambit, they're really just, this is like grinding it out, right? You know, they're not taking too many unnecessary risks. Silently, oh. Sile exposes himself. That's a big frag to find. Maybe there's hope for G2 in round 22. A recovered AWP. He's fend and locked down the entire rotate. Inters might be jumping straight into Amanek's scope. Big frags from Amanek. Oh dear. Another needed. Nafani is contesting that plant. The bomb now down thanks to Jax. If he could just dump his util, he could buy some space. A release of the crouch key will seal the fate of Nafani. Oh, I say that. He lives on for a second longer. Now, surely the round is theirs. Okay, a sigh of relief. He completely saved them. And the fact he's staring at that generator, Axel just happens to expose himself. Uh, yeah, because Axel, like, moving around there, maybe he was thinking, I need to just have a quick look at mid, right? If he doesn't do that, and Amanek slips through spawn, maybe Amanek gets caught at another point. Yeah. Like, they, they don't I mean, end what, up in B like what, that. What's he doing with a Mac 10 when flanking A? Yeah, no one's looking. And CT smoked. Nafni will hear this. They're swinging elevator. He stands to deliver the first. Three versus three. G2 are more wounded, but it's only Shiro solo on A. We can stop the plant from here. He certainly could. Next are dead to Winters. Here we go. Ten seconds. How are they supposed to plant? In the smoke. Bodyguarded by Amanek. Uncontested. Inters jump straight past. G2 looking for a tenth here, and it's all on to Amanek. Can he come up clutch? And he's saving them again. One on one. Shiro fakes it. Amanek trying to test his limits, and he jumps straight into the clutches of Shiro. 15, and it comes down to a 1v1. Oh, that one right there, so flustered in the tail end. What, 30 seconds as they're trying to pivot through middle? Almost, Amanek almost gets them across the line. Axile passive orping middle, and enters this time with all of it to do on the B side. Here he we go. He loves this spot because it's never mollied. He can just stand there, have conviction in that first fight. Oh, straight through. Amanek tries to sprint through the flames. Inters is ruining their day. Jax claws one back for G2, but it looks like Axile is here to finish Vertigo. Hunter partners up with Jax, a two versus four. Oh. The elevated position of Nafani on the smoke could be a problem, and the smoke fades. Axile can connect. Now the smoke is the least of their troubles. Hunter to try and save G2's vertigo. This is Gambit's pick, and they have demonstrated as to why. A 13-2 half, and it ends with an aid. There it is. Gambit take their map pick. The world number one puts it 1-0. to zero. We'll be heading over to Ancient. The new up some deeper smokes towards Temple and Spawn. They've got a Molly to deal with. The back bombsite box as well. They're boosting up and over. Shiro's ready for this. Yeah, not much he can do about it other than calm. Oh, he can take two heads from the unchecked cubby. Another chance onto Amanek. He is under a lot of scrutiny and they're going to take the fight from Temple. Inters does not go down. The crossfire and that smoke on cube won't last for forever. It's only Nico now in those A-Halls. He had Util 
and a couple of taps from his Glock will eventually lose out to Hobbit. Okay, well, the bomb doesn't go down, and that's a bit of a problem. Now, there's been discussions. Just a bit of a pop flash there for them to team on out of middle, and Hobbit over towards the top red has to deal with this. Good weapon for the job with a famous bomb called. Hobbit with two. Oh, oh that's lovely work. You can see just that extra air of confidence in the A, the angle, and B, the repeats when he knows he's up against those Glocks. And Afni will not be able to actively contest with only an MP9. Oh, oh what a perfect flash from Shiro. They got first blood here. Quick response. Nexa lines up two. Uh, Intus has held Cave safely and will find a weapon upgrade. Nexa can't take it away from him. This next duel is everything. The next body to drop will probably determine the round winner. Nexa is the one to put G2's name in that hat. Axel's coming from the same position, though. Oh, he's actually found one. Hobbit, another. Oh, oh dear. Nico, heavily tagged. And there's plenty of time for Axel to work his magic drop, his util. Nico slinking across. The bomb's behind the pillar. The bomb is behind the pillar. He could struggle to question the whole. He's hold. just going to sit it. He's just going to sit it. That's it. it. Three to zero. Nothing Nico can do. <laughs> That's a real nasty blow early to the G2 confidence. So it looks like the standard util drop, Molly and Smoke, they're ahead of it. Blind as a bat, Team Flash, unfortunately. Inter's catching one of their own. He's hiding in that smoke. Jack's always oh, going for the plant, they didn't clear the cubby. Just a wild spray straight through. Naphne denies and the rest of them are so blind, they may not even know he's there. Oh, nade. Double nade. Actually, the underhand has converted and Naphne from his little cubby is doing oh. it all. Oh, the barrage of nades. Oh, that one sucks for G2. That's no fun at all. You brought so much util into the fray and it just felt like chaos all. Nice defensive smoke drop by Axile. Keeps him safe. Oh, only for a second. Temple starts to make contact. Axile in the open on the headshot box. He's knocked off the triple. Oh, a very cool first gunny out of G2. That is beautiful stuff right there. Fantastic work. You can see just how they can punish, right? The idea with that passive setup on B, you want to have that third man cheating over to help. Well, the smoke from middle to cut off the back alley position. And that also makes the B bomb site more susceptible, right? So that is where you're talking about a bit more aggression towards that B lane. And he's got support. They could just go for a bit of a B exec here. They very well might. Flashes are good. Pillar needs to be cleared. Jax is the blunt object. He can't do anything. Oh, a complete CT lockdown. That's the other side of the coin. When you do throw the bodies up that choke point, you can see what the remnants of G2. Nexa starting his project towards Zinter's next. And oh, a swing and a miss. Here we go. Nexa starting to make things interesting. My God, the fights. His crosshair was there for every single one. Nafani's giving up B. Inter's as well. Okay. They're selling a lot here with a little. Yeah, Jack's bringing the bomb back B. This is great. Amanek to fully sell this. Shiro pressured. And the bomb is open for business. Oh, as I say that, Hunter's gone down. He would have loved to have taken one with him. Because now, regardless, you've got a 5v3 after plan. That's if the bomb goes down. Nexa. Oh, big find. They'll go now. Jax, multiple targets. Can't seem to get the bullets down range. And Nexa, the 4 HP is just insignificant. He'd have to be tapping away the heads ahead of the molly. Shiro denies. Gambit, 6. And that's after they got pulled around the map like G2's puppet. Instead, Nafani's aggression that's met by Amanek's first frag. And he might want to go on that. The flash indicates something of that ilk. Here they come. Shiro flashed off. Inter's not checked. This can't be criminally underchecked. It's such a naughty crossfire. Now Nico feels the feed. Oh, a chance onto Shiro. And he keeps getting these peaks. Solid defense. Gambit will make good on seven. Hard clear. They jiggle nicely, but he does control his spray, at least for the first. Re-aggressing was Nafani. Smokes are down. 3v3. Game time for Hobbit. He's alone now. Rotates surely on its way. They're so blind they Everyone's haven't spotted. Yeah, I don't think they know. Now they do. Tucked in on this triangle, jumping for the fight. Draws the crosshair away and they convert. A bomb plant from Amanek. He's gone above and beyond. Normally this should be a save, but I just think the fact it's a new map, maybe they'll have a look in here. Has been getting whittled away. Oh, here's some good info for you. Okay, so if you've got over 59 points of health. Shiro. That molly's a bit short, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he fancies his chances. They're walking. This has failed every time for G2 so far. 
Can they change the outcome around the pillar? This time it's an even trade. That's a change. Inter's unchecked. And Shiro, what? Did he hit that? Straight into Jax. Oh, is Inter's going to just get a freebie? Yes, he is. Just sitting, staring. The smoke fades. Hunter a little late on the plant, and this round falls apart. Next to however... He's pushed through red. Axel may not be anticipating this. He will now, and the trade is instant. Hobbit looking for info. Doesn't even need his teammate's help, and he will get the weapon upgrade for his time. Molly down for toe. He is a bit of a bait. Still gets them. Oh, no. Two down. G2 starting to fall apart. Nexa, that's big. Maybe he can make a round out of this now. Taking the orping presence down and out of cube, but it just keeps coming. One by one, these jewels. Hunter and Nexa. Oh, pip the gap here, Hobbit. Boost a little bit. Nexa caught out by Nathany just on the lip. And there it goes. Another round by the wayside. Gambit. Oh, the battle for mid this time. Let's see. Let's see. Shiro's been here every time. Maybe he actually gets a bit of a test. Ooh, what just happened to Nico? Dunked on by the Nathany push. And they walk straight into Shiro. He's got a lovely gap. Oh, oh my God. God, Hunter evaporates. I'm going to get the bomb. He's stuck. Yeah, he's bailed himself out of trouble, perhaps. Oh, he can not, only go forward. Not ideal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe Nathany will not expect him to have crawled this far. Yes. No. There goes the bomb. That is almost delivery to CD spawn right there. Could not be in a worse position for Nexa, who's left with 53 points of health. A minute on the clock. Even a bunch of utility, but just imagine getting past this. Shiro's coming. He takes him down the third in the round at 11 to 2. Gambit have been sandbagging their ancient scrims. <laughs> you heard it here first. I'm sure OG might be having similar thoughts here, Shiro. Ooh, he's at least let one through. And he smoked off now. God, it does seem on the fly, doesn't it? This worked for them before, but look where Hobbit's positioned now. He's actually in the back of CT spawn. And now he's spamming through the smoke. So this is the play that got them around. Yeah, pushing a halls. Axel's aggressive this time. <laughs> oh no! Just pushing in for the bomb and everything. It's all falling apart. G2-2. If he's brave enough to hold it before it fades, he's got at least two. Oh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Nafani and Shiro click their mouse in unison. 30 seconds, what are they going to do? I don't even know. Shiro <laughs> even hit that. Is he going to survive? Look at him jumping with his back turned, just trying to survive. Free fires will come in. Jax reveals he's coming from the bedroom. Bomb to be planted. It needs to be. Inters can't maybe deny it from the booty. Shots, yeah. Tagged up. Bomb down. And Jax, the last to fall. They are crumbling under this pressure. It's 13 again. 13 to 2. The same scoreline that Vertigo was left with on the half here on Ancient. We could be three rounds away from a locked-in grand final. No one to contest. The CT smoke is pretty solid, at least to enable them to set up. Hunter catching one with that CZ on the pistol. Okay. Okay. Nexa and Hunter, at least individually, keeping up. No kit for this. Inters wants to push the smoke as well. They're going to take the back temple control. Shiro from main. He's going to be swung on. If he could just take down Nico. Too hard. Too many targets. <laughs> oh, the back of the head. <laughs> Notoriously difficult, but G2 will at least promise. Hobbit has a flash. If they flash and pop, they'll get the bomb site for free. Here comes the test for Nexa. Oh, lovely finds. Lovely from Nexa. Stops them in their tracks. He was the only one here, and it's all he needs. He takes the ace. Anti eco or not. It's a morale booster, five put. Could be missed. Hobbit. He's actually got a chance there, at least for two. He didn't spot Nico though, and so enables a trade. Advancing through the smoke. Nafani walking into Nico and bests him again. Oh, oh Nafani is so deadly today. Round winning from him on the T side. He's got the whole B site. Bombs on its way back, and it's only Amanek. A FAMAS and a dream and a flash to the face. Nicely turned. If he could somehow catch Shiro prior to Inter's arrival in the site, they are crossing their T's, dotting their I's, a deep flash for the cross. Can you deny from here? That is the question. The answer is no. 
will tag up one, looking for the swing, and the pre-fire was there, but it's all fallen apart now, just Jax. He's not been having a lot of fun here on Ancient. And the pain continues. Gambit, here we go. First look. And they're coming in thick and fast. First, immediately out of Nafani. He's even shoulder peaked perfectly. Next up, being played with Nico defensive. And he still can't handle Gambit. The frag's just always converted. And no fun for Amanek. I mean, he's holding on to this AWP and he's... But definitely seeing the confirmation. Nice shot. He will manage to scavenge a weapon. But confirmation of what the analyst's worst fears were. You know, Yanko, he, as soon as he saw it, was waving a, a red flag for G2 fans. And... Very wide swing does bait the orb shot. They're going A. It's the right call. Jax. First test for him. We'll see how he handles it. That's info as well. The fact Hunter spotted that B presence trying to get mid. Jax especially stomaching a lot of util, a lot of sound. Swings out. Can't get a second. He's going to be miffed about that. And the 4 HP long range MP9. Hinging on G2's hopes and dreams. Nexa does finish off Hobbit. Now he's got a weapon to play with for the clutch. Shiro plants for cube side. And he's just choosing to stick around. And Nico's ready. We go again. Saved by that AWP. Oh, it comes too easy to him. Just a gap in the fading smoke. And Nico's head is found. Amanex right behind them and he does strike shiro gone quick flank next are unchecked bombs being delivered now by inters hobbit has to clear this cubby hole he will two versus three hunter can deny it all and he will g2 extend play once more okay well now we're starting to get cooking this is one of those situations where we say double digits Jax has got a lot to prove now oh and a missed shot Axile's in. Nice find from Hunter. And now Amanek can spring to life as well. It's Shiro Zorp that's still managing to hold this line. If he peeks in again, Jax will greet him. Only Nafani remaining. He was supposed to be the one to sell B. Arrives nicely with the first and straight through the smoke onto Nico. No, no, no. No time for this, surely. No, no, no. All right, G2, they're okay, staying alive. Okay. They're staying alive. Look, this is exactly like Vertigo. It's so hard to get excited about this. The, the, Smoked off as well, though. Great molly to stop any planting, and Jax has lost his duel to Nafani straight through their own smoke. They push. They can't lose this one, though, Chad. They can't afford to lose this one. For pride alone, they can't. And Gambit have got themselves the bomb down before the smokes do fade. Even an AWP now in play. Shiro's desperate for it, but Nafani's the one to hit the shots. He might even peek into Nexa. Go on, my son. He's ready to finish the game right here. Peeking in. This feels like a guarantee. Nico spot him spanked. And G2, depending on Nexa to somehow get 29 frags. No time really on the clock for this one. He'd have to fake it and the they'd bomb. have to line up. He still can't find it's them. It's a nightmare. He's swapping weapons with them in the middle of a clutch. Oh, and Gambit will take it. Shiro confirmed he's not on the bomb. All you have to do is survive and the bomb will take it. There you have it. Ancient concludes Gambit to the grand finals. OG quaking in their boots.